problema. 10 millimeter axle, 9 millimeter drop axle. It's 24 hours since I learned that my front wheel axle doesn't fit the dropouts on my front fork. And now I'll tell you what I've learned. I've learned it's time to get the file out. Either to file in here, the 9mm dropouts, or here, the flat bit, the 10mm axle. It looks like the switch bike would have made of this, the 10mm axle, 9mm dropout, because they've actually made a, a video on their website about two years ago on it. It's unlisted, but I get the feeling that they've sorted the issue out, probably by using a 9mm axle now, sourcing one, because this 10mm axle won't fit on the 9mm dropouts, and 9mm seems to be the common size. In the West, anyway, I don't know about other countries. I, th I believe that that'll be for road bikes and mountain bikes, I don't know. But as far as I know, 10mm dropouts would be an unusual size. So there's a 1mm mismatch. This is too big, and that's too small. So you take your chances, whatever one you want to file. I saw it on the Switch video, they filed the flat bit on this on both sides, I think. But uh, I think they've sorted out their problem. You would need to ask them though. Basically, are they using 9mm axles now? Whereas on your super, it still looks to be an issue. I've not got a file, so I've just ordered some. I ordered diamond files, which are really cheap, off eBay. And uh, they're about 10mm width, so hopefully that's about 10mm. I'm going to file the dropouts and uh, I really don't want to but I think I'll have to. These are carbon as well. One thing about these I never realised about axles is they're flat on two sides and that's so that they can go in the dropouts. I'd never really thought of it and these I suppose these are quite old-fashioned type because I don't think you get them in, on modern wheels anymore. Here's my normal bike wheel and I'd never really noticed before, but this is a bit that it goes on, because I'd never really thought where the fork goes. I think I used to think it went down there, which is pretty stupid. But this has also got a bit flat bit, and I didn't realise that. It's got a flat bit here, a flat bit on the opposite side, and that's how it goes in your dropouts. You know, I always, I always thought I was totally round. But as you can see, it's not really that similar to the one on the electric motor bike wheel. Actually, it is the skewers that keep this in place. So, uh, forget what I said about that bit in the middle there. It's not that bit at all, that's the... That's amazing, because that's really thin, you know? The skewers and it's got a spring in the way. Yeah. You know how it is, like that, you know? Oh, you do know. Like that. As I was talking about earlier, that's, that's just holding it in place at the back. It's not really, it's the actual skewer that's keeping it in. This one also has the flat, two flat bits. The electric wheels only turn one way, it seems to me. Well, my does. And there's a flat bit there. There's a flat bit there. Maybe if I take that nut out, I would be able to take it all out, I don't know, but it's 10 millimetres across and it's to fit a 9 millimetre drop out, so something's got to be filed. I don't know, I would possibly rather file the axle here, but I can't get this off and I don't know if I'll be able to, I don't know, I don't know if that cable's sort of connected electrically and goes right in there, you know, it's sort of there's a key holding in there. So for me, I'll be doing the dropouts because I can't figure this out. And there's no way I could get in there without this in the way. It's not a very good tape, but I'm taking that to be 10 millimeters. I mean, I could say nine, but really, I think it's 10. I mean, there's only a millimeter in the, in the whole thing, but I just can't get it to fit. 
But I'm wondering, is everybody having this problem with this kit? I mean, I just can't believe that it's just me just looking at this again. I'll take the word for it, it's nine millimetres. So I'm probably going to shave half a millimetre that side, half a millimetre that side. Same over there. Some also suggest a top cam, which is a sort of thing that comes out here then goes back in and it's held there by a Jubilee clip. And your motor takes its torque from this side because the motor cable thing will be in there and it's to sort of give it more support so that this doesn't break basically but i think for 250 watt motors someone said that you don't really need them i really hope that's true anyway but if you did feel you needed one you can get them in EV for like six pounds or something it's called a torque arm somewhere like and usually you would have one where your motor cable comes in there and it's to sort of stabilise this more so that it doesn't crack because I have read of people's lugs just cracking just breaking after one one go of their of their electric bike converter kit but then I think they're using things like a thousand watt motors and stuff you know I think 250 watts isn't too heavy or powerful. It's 40 nanometer, nano things, this, Newton things, this torque plus. This is to give you an idea, it's just so close. I'm trying to find that angle, and it almost fits. But I don't really want to struggle in. I may give it a go though. I'm to get the flat sides. Lining up. Yeah, you can see it's not going on easily. It fits for width 100 millimeters across from there to there. That seems to be a standard size. So well, it's going to fit okay that way. I can't get that side in because of the stuff's in the way. But well, I'm almost there. So close. Well, it would be close if it's only a millimetre out, wouldn't it? I'm just looking there again, and that thing's got to be pointing upwards. I think that washer in there. I think I should be able to take this off because it's got a, they call it a shim in there, and it seems to be getting in the way in mine. It's making it too small a space. So I get a feeling I can take this off. I'm just too scared at the moment, you know. Um, yeah, because I've got ones for the other side. Because you've got to have this in, and I think that sort of keeps it locked when the drop bolt, you know, sort of. Or so something like that on the inside. I think. What is all that? You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah. So, I just wanted to point this out because. I get a feeling everybody would get stuck here. It's one of those things that we're all suffering in silence. Nobody says, you know. 15.6 amp hour battery. Apart from that, it all looks good. Yeah. I'll probably need a bracket to fit the battery because it's, it's, it's too near here and you can buy a bracket for £17 from the Yossi Power site and that sort of moves it up. But you could also just turn the battery the wrong way around, upside down basically. And it does fit that way because I've already tried. But uh, this is where I'm stuck at the moment. So I'm waiting for Diamond Files to come in from EV. They're, they're like 10 millimetres wide, a flat file. And I've got a round one as well in there. And the hang me, so hopefully that'll do the next 9 millimetres. But apart from that, it looks as if, you know, as long as, as, long as my lugs don't break, first time I use it or, or any time. Some people may need a torque arm. I don't know, I'm getting the feeling 250 watt. You'll be all right, you don't need them. But, and I've not really seen anybody else but them from the Yossi Power YouTube videos. So apart from that, so far it all looks good. It's got one of these on each side with this bit sticking it. I think that'll be keep it in the top out. And it only fits two ways. You can't twirl it around. It only fits going along these grooves. 
this oval. So I think that goes like that. The corner's a shim. Maybe you don't need to use that, I don't know. There's a heavy duty thing. This is a disc brake you would fit there. Front wheel installation. That's all they tell you. Hey guys, that's me for just now. I'm waiting for files, diamond files in the post, so hopefully soon. Maybe I'll even come up with a better idea. I don't know, another idea was to get new forks, but apparently 10mm dropouts. Somebody already tried to find them and couldn't find any. I mean, when I searched this on uh, in Google, you know you're in trouble when the first thing you come up, that comes up is a Reddit, is Reddit. And uh, some of the posts were like from 2008 and stuff. So, I don't know, it's one of these, one of these things. I don't know, it seems to be the Chinese manufacturers still go by 10 millimeters for some reason. Whereas the rest of the industry's moved on to nine or something like that. I don't know. Maybe mountain bikes are different. I don't know. But all right, guys, that's all. Over. Goodbye. Check the Yossi Power website. It's worth a look.